The enemy is coming after the children. Their plan is to remove the grandparents, parents, guardians, aunts, uncles, and all who would have legal recourse to the care of the children. Part of the enemy's plan is to wipe out the generations of families and preserve the children and a select number from each generational age group. The device is the main method the enemy is using to facilitate its diabolical plan. Their plan is simple. The effects of the diabolical serum that will come upon those who have taken the device are deterioration of health to the point of being unable to provide adequate care for the children, possible hospitalization, and death. The enemy's plan is to take the children into protective custody under the social welfare legislative programs that govern child and family services. This is a worldwide plan, though the nation's hardest hit will be nations that provide social services for its citizens. They are presently rewriting the guidelines to facilitate the apprehension plans. Schools will no longer be safe places for children as much of the enemy's plans involve the education system. The enemy also has a plan in the works to take the children from parents and guardians who refuse to take the device. But this plan is not officially activated as of yet. But soon, it shall be talked about publicly as a means to garner support from the complacent communities. Already, there are rumblings of this in some countries. The enemy will push their agenda that the resistant folk are a threat to the well-being of the children and society in general. What the enemy is planning is a total remake and conditioning of the young into its new version of human being with AI input, gene alteration, and psychosexual gender corruption. The ultimate plan is the detainment and humiliation of all adults who refuse to comply with their device plan. This plan of the enemy is not specific to God's people, but will target all persons who resist taking the device. The children will be left defenseless. Trust in me. I am revealing the enemy's plans to you, so you will call upon me to intervene, to help you, and to protect you, your children, and your loved ones. I have my plans for you, plans for good and not for harm, plans that give you hope in these dark days. But you must take the time to speak to me, to pray to me, and to listen for me to speak to you. For I will speak to you, and I will lead you. Remember also that greater are heaven's armies and angels than those who are against you. And I, myself, am the greater one within you, who is greater than he who is in the world. I am your Lord, and I am your shepherd. It is imperative that you seek me in my word and come to know me in my word. For the days ahead will be fraught with many trials, and those who have the hearing and reading of my word in their hearts 
will be more able to stand in faith in these times of troubles and trials, which I tell you will only increase and worsen. The establishment of your faith in me can only be strengthened through my word and through your experience of my word actively working within your lives. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Each of you are given the measure of faith, yet that measure can be strengthened. I will tell you this, that the function of faith is to believe. Therefore, believe. And when you are not sure if you believe, then be like the father of the demon-possessed son who cried out to me, Lord, I believe. Help man believe. I tell you truly that that father's cry of truth moved heaven on behalf of the love of this father for his son. For I did not act on my own accord, but only did what my father told me and showed me to do. What is impossible for man is more than possible with the Lord. Do not have little faith where little can be done. But in believing my word, you will come to know and believe that all things are possible for those who believe. I am with you and will not forsake you. I am not a hireling shepherd. I am the good shepherd who cares for my sheep. But there are many fair shepherds among you who care nothing for my people. You must learn my word for yourselves if you are to know the truth about the days and times that are upon you. Do not allow yourselves to be misled, for that will not count as a defense if you should take the wrong path. Stay close to me and to the sound of my voice in my word. I am speaking to you in my word and in many other ways as well that will be confirmed by my word. Therefore, be watchful, pray, and listen. Teach your children early and frequently about me from my word. Teach them to pray using my word. Now more than ever, you will need to find your strength and direction that can come only from my word. Seek me first and often throughout each day. Turn away from the distractions of this world if you hope to become stronger in me. You cannot serve two masters. I tell you, that you are the gatekeepers and protectors of your homes and your children, and also of the children in your sphere of influence and even in your communities. Bring all the children to me in thought and prayer. Do prayers over them all, their schools, their playgrounds, community centers, and their activities. Pray for their families, whether you know them or not. Do prayer walks around your neighborhoods. My angels will be released as you release your prayers to me and my Father. We are with you and will not forsake you, but you have much to do in these days and times. Do not be slack, nor become weary, in your own strength. For now, more than ever, you must rely completely upon me and draw nearer to me. So near that when you should look into the mirror, let it be me that you see. Let me be Lord of your life. So like Paul, 
you can say, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. Bless you, my children, and remember to pray my word daily and frequently. Call upon me, resist the devil, and he shall flee from you.